Professional basketball players work night and day to prepare their bodies for the most intense games. But just like ourselves, basketball players are human. Therefore, they all like to enjoy a nice cheat meal once in a while. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we will be trying some of the most known NBA player cheat meals. If y'all saw the tripod I have going right now, you'd be concerned. Which is why I'm going to show you. Yeah, it's two candles and one of them's open on top of each other. This is a bad idea. But without further ado, let's hop right into breakfast. Ah, damn it. That's what I get for trying to be cinematic. I guess that didn't work. But yes, we have Fruity Pebbles. This is a childhood favorite of mine. I actually haven't had these in quite a few years. And this cheat meal belongs none other than to, you guys are gonna clown me for saying this, arguably the GOAT, LeBron James. Listen, I'm a Jordan kid at heart. I can't break away from him, all right? They smell fruity. I would, I would hope they smell fruity. If they smelled like anything else, I'd be concerned. I don't know why I grabbed a fucking massive bowl. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. And I'm, I'm gonna stop talking like this. Okay, if you don't take your spoon and like shove the cereal into the milk before you eat it, you're a fucking psychopath. All right, Fruity Pebbles, and we are going in, ladies and gentlemen. I honestly forgot like how much like Fruity Pebbles crunch when you eat them, dude. It like, it crunches so easily. And the fruit flavors combined with that and the milk, it's actually like top tier. I gotta start eating Fruity Pebbles more often. So I'm gonna rate this on a scale of one to 10 for a cheat meal. Okay, we're going by cheat meal. Like how like great of a cheat meal is it? Cause you have to understand a guy like LeBron James puts his body through every little thing and eats perfectly. And whatever he's doing is still working because the man's almost 40 and still playing at the top of his game. But in terms of a cheat meal, I don't consider Fruity Pebbles like that unhealthy healthy for you, you know what I mean? Like they're not the best for you, but like they're not the worst cereal either. So in terms of like a cheat meal, I'm gonna give this like a four. Like honestly, like it's not like that unhealthy. Disclaimer, I'm not saying Fruity Pebbles are healthy kids. Do not like down a whole box of these cause you will throw up. Speaking from experience. Oh my fuck, bro, what is wrong with me today? Bro, I hate everything, dude. Are you kidding me? Well, this would be a good time for me to cut to lunch. So I'll be back with y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, it is lunchtime. It, it, it's actually like 3.30, but we'll, we'll pretend it's lunchtime. I just ran a mile on the treadmill and what a better way than celebrate than go to McDonald's. So I read up on the fact that there's a certain NBA player that loves to feast on McDonald's and I actually haven't been to McDonald's in a minute and I just recently got a $25 gift card to this place so that kind of worked out. At the moment the YouTube money only goes a long way so. Without further ado, I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna order some McDonald's. I'm gonna show y'all what I got and which player it is. McDonald's is secured. The first item is a vanilla shake, and that's classic. I used to get this all the time as a kid. I, I still get them now. I don't know why I'm acting like I'm like 40 years old. And you know that slaps harder than Will Smith as always. So item number two of three is chicken McNuggets. I only got a four piece cause I'm not too crazy on McDonald's chicken nuggets. I don't know. I've seen some weird TikTok videos. That's why I don't have TikTok anymore. Well, that's one of many reasons I don't have TikTok anymore. That there's like weird stuff in McDonald's chicken nuggets. I don't know. I'm still gonna eat them for the video though. I mean, look at look at this thing. It's like, I don't know. It, I, I can't even like break it. It's, it's weird. Well, anyways, here's a McDonald's chicken nugget for y'all. Like I said, they're, they're so mid. McDonald's chicken nuggets are so mid. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> item number two of three. Now this, the last item I'm actually very excited about. A McDonald's classic, the quarter pounder. I don't know if y'all can see that without me spilling in this car. Oh my God, I almost dropped it. But a McDonald's quarter pounder with cheese to be specific. And I'm going in. <laughs> Top tier, dude. McDonald's is an, I don't care what people say about McDonald's like hamburg meat. McDonald's burgers hit so hard, I don't care. They didn't give me a single napkin in the bag, so that kind of bothers me. But now it's for the big reveal. I'll give you guys like five seconds to guess. I guarantee you're not going to guess who this is. Five, four, three, two. This is kind of fast, but one, Danny Green. Danny Green loves to indulge himself into some McDonald's fast food as his cheat meal. I mean, who doesn't? McDonald's is a classic. It's freaking amazing. In terms of a cheat meal and overall taste and flavor and goodness, and I don't know, I'm just making up words. Danny Green's cheat meal from McDonald's, I will give an eight out of 10. I feel like 10 out of 10 would just be insane for McDonald's. But in terms of flavor and just being an actual cheat meal, this is a W cheat meal because McDonald's is not good for you whatsoever. But that is our second meal of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Now for dinner, I'm not really sure because I'm not like crazy hungry. We'll see how I'm feeling in a few hours. The Celtics are playing. Maybe I'll get a little more hungry. I don't know, we'll see. So I'll be right. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this food and get off camera because people are staring at me low key, not gonna lie.
It's been two days. What? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It's been about two days since uh, the last time I ate at McDonald's and the video's taken a little longer than expected. I'll be honest, y'all. I filmed this video Sunday night. It's currently Tuesday and I wasn't feeling the greatest Sunday night. I was like, I can't finish this out. I'll throw up if I eat. But nonetheless, we are here and I bought a couple snacks that I just want to show to y'all and educate y'all on some of the great NBA player cheat meals. And one of them's kind of interesting. It was, it's not even a food, it's a drink. I've been trying to eat pretty good recently, but that's about to go down the fucking drain. Let's just say that. So we have a bit of a three course type thing. We have a snack, drink, and a dessert. So we're covering all the palettes for y'all real quick. And I figured I'd end the video off in the usual studio, the place you guys are used to seeing in the videos. Because I have stepped outside my element, I am not in the world of 2K, I am in the real world. And honestly, talking to y'all in the real world, one on one, is kind of a beautiful thing. All 6,000 of y'all, I love each and every one of you, but oh, I gotta stop yapping, dude. I am a professional yapper. The first quote unquote cheat meal, it is the snack that I picked up. It is popcorn. And I know exactly what y'all are saying. That is not a fucking cheat meal. I absolutely 100% agree. But to Stephen Curry, this is a cheat meal. Not specifically smart food. I just got smart food because, well, I. I like smart food. I'm assuming when Steph Curry eats popcorn, it's probably just like regular popcorn. I mean, you know what? Maybe he switches it up. He puts a little butter on it or something. Maybe it's kettle corn. Who knows? It's Steph Curry. I mean, to play like Steph Curry, he probably doesn't eat a lot of junk food. Why am I still holding this like this? Like, guys, oh my God, I screwed up. I screwed up big. I hate kettle corn with a passion. I grabbed the first one I saw. You're an idiot! Like, I don't like hate kettle corn, but it's not my favorite. Like, if I see popcorn, dude, I will grab any other popcorn before kettle corn. All right, I'll give it a try. Okay, you know what? I was wrong. This one's not that bad. Because it's sweet and salty kettle corn, so that's that's really not that bad. That's actually kind of solid. I'm definitely going to hold on to this. I'm not eating the whole bag right now. Y'all are out of your damn mind. But first, my rating, Steph Curry's cheat meal. In terms of a cheat meal and overall flavor, this is like... A two. Flavor's not bad, but being a cheat meal and popcorn's not really a great cheat meal. Like, I consider popcorn to be pretty healthy if you get rid of the butter, the salt, all that stuff. So we're moving on to the next one, and I'm gonna have to put the mic down to close this so I don't spill it like the damn Fruity Pebbles. All right, ladies and gentlemen, up next, we have ourselves some ginger ale. We have some gr grenadine, gr gr roses grenadine syrup. That's, that's what I got. For anyone that wasn't born yesterday, you can probably put two and two together. This is how you make a Shirley Temple. For any uneducated people out there, a Shirley Temple is a lifestyle. It's beautiful. It's great for non-alcoholic people like me. One year sober, thank you, Jesus. I really am regretting not getting cherries, though, because that really makes a Shirley Temple hit, not gonna lie. I just realized I forgot a cup full of ice, too. So, um, yeah, let me go take care of that. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we have our cup of ice. We have our ginger ale. And honestly, this is like a perfect size ginger ale. Oh, thank God it's caffeine free, too. I almost got cat. It's like 9.30, I'm not gonna lie. We crack open that ASMR ginger ale sound. We pour it into the Patriots mug. And this is the most uplifting Patriots thing that has happened in the last couple of years. Oh! All right, we have our ginger ale in the mug. We take our grenadine. How much grenadine do I put? Why did I get a whole bottle? Would I be insane to just take a sip of this right now? Ugh, don't do that. Don't ever do that. Oh. It tastes like a better version of cough syrup. Well, anyways, we take some grenadine, put it in the ginger ale, like so. Again, I don't know how much. Is that enough? Well, I guess we'll stir it around and find out. Not quite. More. Whoa, that was a lot. Okay, that was enough. I would show you guys what this looks like, but I think I put too much ice in here. Anyone else got a drink at home? Cheers. Honestly, not the best Shirley Temple. I think I could do better. You know what? I definitely didn't put enough in. We're gonna put more. Whoa, that was plenty. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is not like a meal, but it's like a cheat snack type thing. The person who enjoys their Shirley Temples, enjoys this way of life, is Mr. Joel B. And I don't blame the man. I really wish I had some cherries right now to put in this. That would really make it. If y'all haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. It's easy to make. Just don't let me make it, because I clearly don't know what the f*** I'm doing. And our last thing for the video, ladies and gentlemen, we have our dessert. I didn't want to get a whole tub of these, because that's like all they had. But luckily, I found something that was just single, because I've been trying to eat better and I'm not trying to eat a whole tub of sugar cookies by myself. This is like really hard to open, but anyways, it's a sugar cookie and inside the sugar cookie, there is Reese's Pieces. I took it one step further. This particular player does not enjoy it specifically with Reese's Pieces. I just like Reese's Pieces. So I figured I'd add something fun, you know what I'm saying? But here's the cookie out of the packaging. And this is a huge cookie, my God. Well, anyways, let's give it a try. Um, It's a little harder than I thought it would be. Please don't clip that or take it out of context. 
But honestly, it's really good. I mean, a sugar cookie with Reese's Pieces, you can't really go wrong. So the player that enjoys sugar cookies as a cheat meal, and by the way, I'm just gonna rate it right now, a cheat meal, like a bunch of sugar cookies as a cheat meal, I gotta go with like a 10, because honestly, there is no nutritional value to this at all. Like, it's a W cheat meal. The player that enjoys it though, is Mr. Kobe Bean Bryant, ladies and gentlemen. RIP to the Black Mamba, man. Honestly, we know how hard Kobe trained and how much he took basketball seriously. But even Kobe liked to indulge himself into some sweets now and then to help unwind from the insane intensity of the NBA. But this is Kobe Bryant's cheat meal, ladies and gentlemen, and it's a W, and I'm gonna enjoy this cookie real quick. So ladies and gentlemen, that was testing NBA player cheat meals. I'm so fat, I can't even finish chewing before I do an outro. This one was a lot of fun to be honest with y'all. I'd love to do this again because there's plenty of other NBA player cheat meals. I actually have a bunch more written down. So if you guys want to see this again, let me know. Let me know what your favorite one was down below. Leave any video ideas you guys got down below because I'm trying to do more IRL stuff. Get away from this damn controller and get away from 2K because I, you know, 2K sucks. But guys, we're on the road to 10K right now. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, drop a like if you enjoyed the video. But other than that, guys, it's been Teebs. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back very soon. See y'all then.